Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very exciting Pokemon news covering the Pokemon Presents this February of 2024. There's a lot of new information in this Presents, so let's try to get through it as seamlessly as possible. The first thing the Pokemon Company announced is that there will be three raid events occurring in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to commemorate Pokemon Day. The first one starts tomorrow on the 28th and will feature Venusaur with the Mightiest Mark, and it'll be a ground type. The following week, Blastoise with the Steel Terra type will be available. And then returning to the Mightiest Mark raids is Charizard with the Dragon Terra type. If you caught the Mightiest Mark Charizard with the Dark Terra type that was available a while back, you cannot catch this new Charizard with the Dragon Terra type. Um, it is already locked for you. So you can participate in the raid, you can beat it, but you cannot catch that mighty Charizard, unfortunately. It would be cool if they let you get a second one, but they did not. So um, you are locked out of that Charizard. All of this will happen through the middle of March. So you'll be getting about seven days to complete each raid. In the world of Pokemon Go, two major things have been announced. Yesterday, the title of the new Pokemon Go season was announced with a little trailer. It's going to be called The World of Wonders, and they did seem to indicate a return to Ultra Beasts in Pokemon Go. There was an Ultra Wormhole in the trailer for that, so you can look forward to some more Ultra Beasts coming to Pokemon Go in this coming season. They also announced today during the Pokemon Live that... Uh, new Pokemon will be debuting in Pokemon Go, namely uh, Charcadet, Armourouge, and Cerulege. They also noted that the there will be a new Pikachu with a hat, um, which is a tie-in to the anime Pokemon Horizons. Uh, the two main characters from that show will be appearing in um, snapshots, so they will photobomb your snapshots during that event, so you can have Liko and Roy in your pictures. But ultimately, you're going to be able to get this new Pikachu with the hat of the captain of their little ship. Um, and he's going to know Volt Tackle, which is new for Pokemon Go. So you, this will be the first time you'll be able to get Volt Tackle on a Pokemon in that game. In Pokemon Sleep, they announced that the Legendary Beasts will be coming to Pokemon Sleep. It'll be the first Legendary Pokemon to appear in the game. Raikou will be coming in March, with Entei and Suicune following sometime after. They did not give us a date. Um, but you are going to be able to get Raikou to come sleep and do sleep research. So that's very exciting. Um, legendary Pokemon are going to start coming to this game. In Pokemon Masters EX, they did highlight a new sync pair for Silver. He'll be receiving Mega Tyranitar, um, and it looks like it'll be a shiny Mega Tyranitar. That's pretty cool. Um, this will probably mean that Brock with Mega Tyranitar is not going to be as viable anymore. Honestly, I haven't been able to play this game. My current phone does not let me download it for some reason. Very big deal because I played this game so, so, so much. Um, they also showed off Gita and Glamora, um, who are also going to be appearing beginning on the 28th. So you'll be able to get Gita tomorrow. Uh, they do also know that Adaman, Irida, Tierno, Skyla, and Dahlia are also coming with new sync partners, um, as well as I believe Riley's Lucario is going to Mega Evolve now. So that's another option um, for for you who play Pokemon Masters EX. They also made sure to mention that the photo ed editor in the game is going to be functional soon. Pokemon Cafe Remix has two new events going on in the game. First of all, being that Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley are all going to be joining the cafe. So you'll be able to have the Paldean starters in your cafe if you're playing Cafe Remix still. Um, there's also going to be a new Gimme Ghoul coin mechanic um, where you collect Gimme Ghoul coins, I guess, as you do orders. Um, and then ultimately, if you get enough of them, you will be able to get Goldengo in your cafe, which is cool. Goldengo is a cool Pokemon. I'm sure it'll be an excellent waiter slash chef. Pokemon Unite. Uh, we already knew Maridon was coming, and that event um, is live for Maridon, so you can now officially get Maridon in the game. 
Um, it's about, I think it's 10,500 of the EOS coins to get him. And they also announced two new Pokemon, like I predicted, to go along with Maridon. Phalanx will be coming in April. Um, probably more of a physical attacker uh, compared to Maridon, which will probably be a little bit more special. And then Cerule Edge will be coming at a later date. They did not announce when that'll happen. I assume it'll probably be May. So it'll be like, you know, February, April, May, something like that. So there'll be three new Pokemon joining the game. Let's move into new territory. They announced two new games today. The first one is Pokemon TCG Pocket. This is going to be a collaborative game between the Pokemon Company, Creatures Inc., and DNA, which is the same company that makes Pokemon Masters EX. Um, and it's going to feature the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket will have a quicker style of Pokemon card matches and new immersive cards. It looks like all of the cards that are going to be in this game are going to be unique to Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. We're not sure if these cards will ever be actually printed physically, but we do know that they are going to be exclusive, I think, to this new game. I do not believe there is going to be a connection between Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, so the cards you get in this game are going to be separate from what is available in Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. And this game is only going to be a mobile app. There will be no desktop release for Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Uh, the immersive cards looked really cool in the trailer that they showed off. Um, you like tap on the card and then it zooms in through the picture and you can like see the world behind the Pokemon. So like they did it with a Pikachu and there are a Ponyta on the background and a Caterpie on a tree and it just looked really neat. So it, it seems like it's going to be really cool art direction for these cards. Um, and they're kind of doing like sort of like this like AR, see the world of Pokemon cards sort of thing. It looks really neat. Um, they didn't really give many details about the uh, quick style matches, but I assume what's going to happen is the game will be shortened. So I feel like uh, instead of playing with six prizes, it'll be like a two or three prize game. Um, and so the mechanics will be sped up. So they were trying to indicate that the games won't last as long um, so that you can get them in in like the quick little moments of life. That was their pitch for this one. Very excited about Pokemon TCG Pocket. Can't wait to check it out. Should be coming this year, 2024. Finally, the biggest news out of the Pokemon Presents was the new Legends game that they announced. They threw everybody for a loop. Everybody thought it was going to be Johto. Everybody thought it was going to be Innova. We're returning to Kalos in this one. This is Pokemon Legends Z minus A. Um, so it looks like Zygarde is going to be getting his game. Um, and this new A, um, makes me think Eternal Floette, but there could be a brand new A-themed Legendary, um, that'll be introduced to the game. Um, it's going to release in 2025. That makes me think that they are finally taking advice from fans, and they are going to be slowing down their release schedule to make sure that they can develop the games quick enough. Obviously, Scarlet and Violet had its issues, so it seems like they have finally um, taken the advice of so many fans and decided to slow down their release schedule. I, for one, am very happy about that. Um, it is a bummer we're going to have to wait longer in between games being released, but it does mean we're going to probably be getting higher quality games, which is a good thing. So there will be no new Pokemon game this year. We have to wait until 2025 for this new Legends game. Like I said, the game will take place in Kalos, and the trailer centered around Lumio City. It seemed that they were going to be redeveloping the city. It was like an urban planning document, um, and they kind of show, slowly showed off that it was Lumio City um, because of the way they did it, it almost seemed like it could have been like uh, Castelia City or like another one of the big cities of, of Pokemon. And then all of a sudden it was like, no, this is Lumio. So you saw the tower, you saw Clement's gym. Um, so it looks like they're revitalizing the city. Basically, I, I think what this means, this is kind of actually history lesson here. Okay, Lumio City is based off of Paris. Paris has been redesigned several times throughout its history. Um, most recently in the 1800s, it was revitalized to have the big wide sweeping avenues and the big open streets. Historically, that was done so that um, it would be easier to put down riots in Paris <laughs> because... Paris likes to do that, um, but it looks like in this game what's going to be happening is the city is going to be being changed to look like the modern 
version that we're used to from X and Y. So it looks like we're going to be moving back to the 1900, like the early 1900s, late 1800s, which is something I people had predicted for the black and white Legends game. Like it would be in like the 1920s or the early 1800s. So it looks like that's what's going to be happening here in this game. They also made a very good point at the end. They wanted to make sure to let everybody know that Mega Evolution is going to return in this game. So everybody who's a big fan of the Mega Evolution gimmick, congrats, that's coming back. That makes me think that all of the Pokemon from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that got Mega Evolutions are going to be available in this game somehow. Um, it also means that more Pokemon should be available in the Kalos region at this time because right um it's later on it's not ancient times so we're going to be getting probably new forms that are going to be interesting based on that time period um there's a high chance i think that um paldean pokemon galarian pokemon are going to be in kalos in a more higher rate um, because of their proximity in the actual world um, so there might be some more of those pokemon in this game Lots of possibilities. We could even get new Mega Evolutions, which would be pretty bananas at this point. Um, does that signal maybe that they're going to be returning to Mega Evolution in the next mainline game? Like Gen, uh, Gen 10 is going to have um, Mega Evolution in it? We don't know. It's just exciting. I'm so pumped. This is going to be a really cool game, I think. Um, it's going to be nice to see Zygarde get its due. Um, potentially a new Legendary in the A. Um, maybe we'll finally get um, the Eternal Flower Floet, which has been teased since X and Y came out, and they've never released it. Maybe this will be the time where we finally get to have it. Who knows? Very exciting, all things considered. That's all that was announced today in the Pokemon Presents. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you're as excited as I am about the future and direction of Pokemon. It seems like they're trying really hard to one listen to us a little bit while still keeping up their innovative tactics that they like to do um so as more information about these things becomes available i, I will be covering that in this series so subscribe stay tuned we will let you know what's going on have an excellent pokemon day trainers adios